I am Maristel Igot Pinote, also known as Tetel. I have been with the company for 18 years and currently holding a Scientist One position. My career in East West started in 2005 when I was hired as a technical trainee right after college graduation. As a technical trainee, I was assigned to all the different departments of the company and had the chance to learn and get exposure to every aspect of the seed business. As a plant pathologist in East-West Seed, my daily routine includes conducting research studies, developing protocols for disease resistance assays, implementing routine disease screening programs and visiting farmers' fields. My contribution to the company's missions of serving farmers are in two ways. First is by helping farmers, particularly the smallholder farmers and the new bees in the farming business by providing technical assistance and appropriate recommendations on how to manage pest problems in their field. Second, is by contributing in the development of new hybrid varieties or improved vegetable varieties with disease resistance traits which can reduce the cost of production and in a way help the farmers produce healthy vegetable crops for everybody. Apart from individual research projects, we do have group projects or initiatives as well. These projects are being done simultaneously in other countries where East-West Seed operates, like in Thailand, in India, and in Guatemala. We usually align these projects with our stakeholders, like the breeding team, and work closely with them. We also collaborate with other teams outside R&D, like for instance, the commercial team for our disease mapping project where we constantly work with them by identifying the fields and farmers to visit while we do the disease mapping by ourselves. In some cases, we also have collaborative projects with the local universities and other private institutions. Collaboration, whether internal or external, is a key element in the success of every project or initiative. Part of the breeding line development is the identification of resistant sources to a particular disease of interest. Before market introduction, we do validation trials to confirm the resistances that our newly developed varieties possess. In order to carry out these processes, the most crucial step is to have an efficient and reliable disease screening protocols where, as a plant pathologist, I am highly involved. Being able to regularly visit farmers' fields, I have seen so many farmers having problems with plant diseases despite the heavy usage of pesticides. On top of that, there are and will always be new diseases emerging over time. For these reasons, I strongly believe that plant pathology is indeed an important field in agriculture. And this realization makes me passionate about my job. When we visit a certain field with severe disease infection, and where disease control seems impossible or when resistant breaking strains of the pathogen are present in the field or when new and unidentified diseases have been observed. For me, these instances or scenarios are the most challenging ones. On the flip side, these situations open up opportunities for new research ideas which excites me as a scientist. Another challenging aspect of being a plant pathologist is that 
you need to know other aspects of crop protection and crop production as well. Once you are in the field, farmers would ask you anything, so it pays to come to the field prepared. Just recently, I visited a pumpkin farmer in Mindanao whose adjacent field was severely infected with Pythophthora fruit rot with frequent rainfall at mid-elevation areas. I can say that there was a high chance of that field getting infected with the disease as well. But with the right management strategies I gave to the farmer, he was able to harvest tons of pumpkin fruits. Oftentimes, we would get some feedback relayed by our colleagues that what we have recommended to the farmers was really effective. It is very heartwarming to know that in our own little ways, we are able to serve the farmers. As a plant pathologist, I get utmost fulfillment Every time I see the hopeful faces of the farmers after receiving our recommendations or technical advices, getting the expected results of our research studies, being able to develop robust disease screening protocols, being able to unveil the causal pathogen of a new emerging disease, and being able to contribute to the development of new varieties with value-added traits such as disease resistances. These are the things that continue to motivate me to do more as a scientist. Just as people need doctors, plants too need plant doctors. We don't have hospitals for sick plants, so we need more and more plant doctors in the field that can help smallholder farmers solve their pest problems and eventually earn a living. As we all know, food security remains the issue around the world, while crop production is hampered by the continuous evolution of plant pathogens brought about by climate change. As such, it is always a challenge to get to know more of our microscopic enemies and formulate advanced strategies and innovation in order to win the endless race against our invisible foes. This makes plant pathology an exciting field to pursue. By ensuring healthy plants in our field and safe foods in our tables, we too can be healthy.